It's a new year. All the papers and the chat shows on television are telling us about New Year's resolutions. It's a new start, opportunity to take on something new. And we know what happens. The good intentions quickly evaporate in the light of experience once the initial enthusiasm for them has worn off. And we can sign them to the dustbin maybe with a sigh of regret, but then we get on with our life as we've always lived it. The problem, of course, about New Year's resolutions is that we try to tack them on to our everyday rhythm without thinking carefully how they might fit in with that rhythm. The community of St Hugh is inviting you to begin to explore your own rule or rhythm of life as a member of this new community of prayer in the Diocese of Lincoln. The community invites you to commit yourself to develop a new rule or rhythm of life based around worship, service and discipleship. It invites you to have and develop a regular pattern of prayer that suits your circumstances invites you to pray for the Diocese of Lincoln and for its transformation. It invites you to regularly pray the Diocesan Prayer and to use the Diocesan Prayer Diary. Many people already live with a rule or a rhythm of life. This could be as a member of a third order religious community, Benedictine or Franciscan. Or it could be as a member of an organisation such as Casillo. It may be something that people have taken on personally to help them to support and develop their own relationship with God. A rule of life gives shape and pattern to your approach both to your relationship with God and to the world. These rules of life are intending to bring freedom and light they're not intended to bind us with shackles or make us feel guilty because we haven't achieved what we said we were going to do. Rules of life should enable and enhance our living in the light of God, not add extra burdens for us to carry or to make us feel that we have failed. So how might you go about developing your own rule or rhythm of life as a member of the community of St Hugh? I want to look at four areas that you might like to think about. Firstly, knowing where you're starting from. Secondly, being honest about what is possible in your life. Thirdly, ensuring that you let God into the process. And finally, not allowing your rule to bind you. So, starting from where we are, when we go on a journey, when we go on a walk in the hills, um, we may well have a very clear idea of where we want to go to, but we won't get very far if we don't know where our starting point actually is. When you take on a rule of life, it can be tempting to immediately write down everything you've ever wanted to achieve in your prayer life and assume because you have done this, everything will miraculously fall into place. Believe me, it won't. The good intentions will evaporate as quickly overnight as a New Year's resolution. So think about spending some time looking at what you already do and gently asking yourself some questions. What is your rhythm, your pattern of prayer at the moment? How do you express your worship and your service at the moment? And how do you feel about this? What is your context? What are the family commitments, church commitments, work commitments, community commitments that you have? And how do they affect your daily walk with God? What is your desire 
as a member of the community of St Hugh? And how do you understand what the community is calling you to be and to do? You could talk these issues over with your spiritual director, or if you don't have a spiritual director, a soul friend, somebody you feel close to and comfortable with, maybe your priest or your minister. But by thinking about what you already do and about where you already are, you can identify the potential for growth and where that might lie. And you can come to a realisation that what is there is already working and begin to build on those foundations. So secondly, be really honest about what is possible. It's really tempting when you're putting a rhythm or a rule of life together to throw everything into it, including the kitchen sink. The rule of life should be about the quality of our relationship with God, not necessarily the quantity. Less can often be better than more. So look carefully at the three headings for the rule. Worship, service and discipleship. Take time to see what you currently do and to think about how you might fit the prayers for the community of St Hugh into your existing rhythm. It may be that you can add significantly to what you already do, but this will not be the case for everyone. Everyone's rule will be different because we come to it with different experiences of the world, different experiences of God, different circumstances and different personalities, all of which needs, we need to bring to bear on developing our own rule of life. So thirdly, letting God in. Make sure you spend some time with God considering your new rule or rhythm of life. Allow God to draw your attention to what he's already calling you to be and how he wishes you to be a member of this community. Let God draw your attention to what is needful and helpful for you. Fourthly, do not let your rule bind you. A rule, a rhythm of life, shouldn't be something that surrounds you with regulations, but something that helps to set you free. Once you've written down your rule, after you've talked to your spiritual director, your, your friends, your God about it, it should be flexible. If you decide with experience that you can add significantly to your rule, amend it accordingly. If you're finding what you have committed to heavy going, look again at your rule and again amend it. Remember, it is not a rule book for you, but a rhythm. And rhythms can change, they can ebb and they can flow, allowing you the freedom to respond to God's call at all times. So what might you include in your rule? You might just wish to add the pattern of prayer for the community of St Hugh to what you already do. That would be enough, but it would be good for you to perhaps also identify a couple of things to include under those three headings for the community. Worship, service and discipleship. But really, there's no need to go over the top. You might just want to take a good look at what you already do and put that down, allowing the space for the prayers for the community to take their place. Your rule of life as a member of the community of St Hugh will be your rule. No one is going to check it to see if you've got it right. However, you might like to speak to your spiritual director or someone else about your rule as it develops. Or you could arrange to get together to meet other members of the community to talk about how you and they are getting on. Your rule should be prepared with prayer. 
lived faithfully and joyfully and confidently experienced. May God bless you on the journey that he is calling you into now.